Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I am very excited to bring you guys some epic confirmed information regarding Grand Theft Auto online updates, PC mods, and a whole lot more for you console guys too. This is extremely exciting. If you guys are hyped, be sure to drop a like on this video, hit that thumbs up button. That would be amazing. And anyways, let's get into this confirmed information straight from Rockstar Games. So Rockstar put out a newswire today and they answered a few questions commonly on, found on like Twitter and on the social club and on various newswires posts. And the first thing they talked about is the real question, what are we going to spend our money on from heist? And that was a question that was asked. And another question was what is coming next regarding Grand Theft Auto Online and also GT Online heist? Rockstar responded and they said to Venz243, which is the one who asked the question, and others who are excited to show off their heist spoils beyond the many new vehicles and items that arrived at Grand Theft Auto Online as part of heist, we are also working on another update coming soon that will feature some very cool new toys for you to enjoy and flaunt with your new gains. They also provided a screenshot of what looks to be a brand new vehicle and new weapon that's going to be coming with this update. I'm going to put that on the screen right now. You can see this is a benefactor vehicle of some sort. I can imagine either a sports classic or a sports car. And this looks incredible. Not only is it a cool looking vehicle, it's in the benefactor family, but look at the doors, butterfly suicide doors. That is awesome. So that's how you're gonna enter this vehicle. And of course, we've got a brand new weapon as well, which looks to be some sort of desert eagle with an awesome goldish silver engraving in it. So this is amazing. Rocks are look like they have some amazing things coming soon for the world of GTA 5. They also also talked about heist and said that there doesn't look like they're going to be adding more anytime soon because it took such a long time to get the first five out and then it takes a tremendous amount of planning to get you know heist up and running but they definitely said we can expect more grand theft auto online updates over the coming months rockstar also talked about getting the rockstar editor on the next generation consoles. They said the Rockstar Editor is an advanced tool requiring additional processing power, so it would not be compatible with GTA 5 on the older systems, but we are currently working on a version tailored for the Xbox One and PS4 consoles. And they also say they hope to release it sometime this summer. So that's amazing. You guys on the Xbox One and PS4 are gonna be getting the Rockstar Editor, which is an extremely powerful tool that was supposed to only come for PC. So that is amazing. Rockstar also briefly touched on the fact that they're still going to be providing updates for consoles like the 360 and the PS3 as long as they possibly can. They did mention, however, that at some point they are going to reach a technical limit where their capacity of updating the older generation is just something that isn't possible anymore. And finally, they also talked about mods on PC. There's been a lot of rumors going around saying that people have been getting banned for mods on PC, and it's really just been rumors and hearsay. Rockstar have officially said that modding in single player and in story mode will not have any impact on your account in terms of getting banned or getting a suspension. The only thing they're gonna be protecting is Grand Theft Auto Online. They're protecting GTA Online against modifications that could give players an unfair advantage, disrupt gameplay, or cause griefing. So basically, long story short, mods are cool in single player, but are not going to be allowed in Grand Theft Auto Online, which is something I support. Anyways, there's a bit more information if you want to check out the newswire for yourself. I just wanted to cover the big things like the DLC and obviously uh, more content that's going to be coming. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. Subscribe if you are new. And of course, be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Other than that, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.